like the eagle watching the direction of the wind and then it spreads its wings that's what we call soaring it does not fly the eagle soars there are two things that joy produces in the life of a believer that i want to just touch on and then we'll pray number one according to nehemiah chapter 8 and verse 10 joy is the principal sponsor of the strength of a believer nehemiah chapter 8 please and verse 10 it says neither be ye sorry don't walk as if there is no hope it says for the joy of the lord is your strength please say that with me the joy of the lord is my strength one more time the joy of the lord is my strength it says neither be ye sorry that means there is a way out of that tragedy there is a way out of that situation and it says the joy your strength in this kingdom is the joy of the lord remember the bible testifies that if you turn aside in the day of battle the diagnosis is that your strength is small paul prayed a prayer and prayed that the believers be strengthened in their inner man and i'm showing you that one of the systems that make for strength is that you must be full of joy that the joy of the lord supplies strength what is strength the stamina the fortitude to remain until you win it's called strength but the people that do know their god the bible says they shall be strong there are times that the battles of life are not won overnight it may take time oh abraham you may need 25 years do you have the stamina to wait if you cannot wait you will always give birth to what will fight your promise when your strength is weak ishmael will come and interrupt what isaac should become and do it takes strength all the days of my appointed time i will wait waiting is the hardest thing for a believer to do not praying not fasting waiting because five minutes to your breakthrough it will still not look like it it takes stamina please listen to me it takes stamina to remain when your wife cannot take in after two three years all kinds of options begin to fly and when you go to god he will tell you what he told you before the marriage and act like he's not aware of what is happening it takes strength in the spirit to remain it takes strength in the spirit to remain when the ministry is not growing and having invested efforts and everything you're not getting the kind of result you should get you usually will feel like giving up but the joy of the lord that is based on a revelation ah. my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by not our deliverer i don't know what you believe in the bible says some trust in horses everybody cannot trust in the name of our god some trust in horses some chariots but for us and for me i know that though he slay me i will trust him i know that it is within his power to save me huh say to those that are fearful hearted do not lose your faith the lord your god is strong and with his mighty hands when you call on his name he will come and save you he will come and save you he will come and save you say to the weary ones your god will surely come he will come and save you 
the bible already tells us that while we look not at the things that are seen that means the things that are seen can deceive they act like they will remain forever the poverty will act like it cannot go the challenge will let me tell you challenges are bold they have an audacity that intimidates there is something about god you need to sponsor your stamina while they stare at you every challenge looks immovable until god comes please listen to me the joy of the lord is your strength a man can be depressed have you seen lately the rate at which people literally i mean they depress themselves to death they go to the hospital and they cannot find out what is wrong and the person will tell you i cannot think i'm i'm just depressed notice that the character of depression is that it brings you to a point of silence where you cannot talk you cannot celebrate the joy of the lord bringing strength and vitality lord i don't know how i'm going to come out of this situation but i will rejoice in the god of my salvation the bible speaks about scripture and says all things that are written aforetime please look at me he said that they are for our learning so that we through the comfort of scripture might find hope the meaning of that is that there are times in your life where you do not know and you are not sure whether or not God can show up over that issue. The Bible tells you to make reference to scripture and check. Has God showed up for someone like that? If he did it before, he can do it again. Same God back then same god right now if he did it before he can do it again same god back then same god right now in the bible god lifted men in the bible god delivered men in the bible people slept as prisoners and woke up as prime ministers in the bible women who were village girls within months became the wives of kings in the bible farmers became prophets in the bible prostitutes joined the lineage of jesus the bible says that these are archives to encourage you to sponsor joy so that if and when I do not know how my life is going and I cannot explain what is happening, I can check through scripture and say, I know God is faithful. Jehoshua, the God of my salvation, he will show up for me. And as bold as this challenge looks, I know that if I join to cry, listen, the moment there is weeping, God's power cannot come. It takes joy. Joy is a magnet. Listen to me. I know that it is human to cry, it is human to grieve, but it's a spirit that continues to drive breakthrough away from you. You must sustain an impartation that grants you the grace to smile through storms. You don't smile because things have changed. You smile and rejoice to change them. If you wait for things to change for you to have joy then they will never change that's why it's called joy in the Holy Ghost it is it, it is a possibility that comes from a dimension that is not normal for men to have please listen to what I tell you I have seen this in my life and I've seen this even while I minister that people who are sad and angry and frustrated and gloomy almost never receive God has to find a way to prime their joy. And if it does not work, the anointing comes directly on them to laugh. Laugh, laugh away space for God to come and bless them. Because it, it seems as though the, their hearts are close towards the things of God. Joy is powerful. Hallelujah. 
the joy of the lord is your strength the first thing joy does is to produce health and vitality it is true that when joy dries up you will be like the tree that has been cursed number two psalms 67 joy is responsible for extraordinary fruitfulness you want your life to be fruitful beyond measure joy is a requirement psalm 67 we'll start from verse 1 please give it to us quickly god is changing someone's life this morning it says be merciful unto us and bless us and cause his face to shine upon us verse 2 that thy way may be known upon the earth, thy saving health among the nations. Verse 3 now. Let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. Verse 4. O let the nations be what? Glad and sing for joy. For thou shalt judge the people righteously and govern the nations upon the earth. Verse 5. It says, let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. Verse 6. Then, not before, then shall the earth. That means while you are mourning, the earth still has the potential to bless you. But your lack of joy will not allow the power of God move upon the earth to bless you. I hope you know that this earth is talking about is not just the ground. Your helper is also made of earth. And there is increase within him. Your destiny helper is a piece of earth that can be used to yield his increase. And the earth, whether as your boss, and the earth, whether as your landlord, and the earth as any one of your destiny helpers can yield their increase and then he says and god even our own god shall bless us show me a man who understands the revelation of joy i show you a man who can turn anything around anything around it sounds very simple but I tell you, this is at the back of the continuation of the pain and the tragedy of so many people. In ministry, in business, we come back gloomy, we come back angry, and we are frustrated. And you know, you will always find a reason to be unhappy, especially in our side of the world today. You will always find a legitimate reason to be angry. Look at me. Let me tell you this. Did you know that the moment you are frustrated the natural effect is that you will want to see others frustrated as a way of healing you from that frustration if you are angry you will want others to be angry for you to be happy for some reason men are designed that way a happy man will want to produce happy people an angry person will want to transfer that anger to others the joy of the lord is my strength and that when i rejoice the earth can bring its increase there are always legitimate reasons please hear me listen very carefully there are always legitimate reasons why we are angry while we are gloomy it looks like things are not working in around our lives but those who understand the joy of the lord are people who will continue to stand when you look at them you do not know when they are passing through storms and when they are having a very good time there is no difference because they are always happy how are you today bless the lord bless the name of the lord i just heard that your mother went to be with the lord last week yes it's true but i give god glory the lord give it the lord take it blessed be his name so how are you going to do about that rent now well i know that god will provide god is a mighty god he will supply be real be real use your common sense wisdom is profitable to direct i understand that's why the wisdom directed me to be joyful in the lord you see that show me a man listen i teach you what i live by you will never at any point find me sit down in regret trying to say lord you did not do this lord you have not yet done this lord when will you do this lord have you done this lord you did not finish doing this my life is ever joyful as a revelation it's a risk to lose joy it's a risk in this kingdom when you lose joy. I will sing 
and I will praise even in my darkest hour through the sorrow and the pain I will sing and I will praise I lift my hands to honor you hear it because your word is true I lift my hands to honor you because your word is true I lift my hands to honor you because your word is true I will see God is not a man meaner he does not lie if he speaks even if it's a mistake it must look like his mistake he he cannot lie hallelujah I teach you how to cheat life I teach you how to play life like a chess you will always find a reason to not be happy listen to me things will always find a way of attempting to mock God in your life the greatest mistake you will make is to turn and start discussing your pain because everything you continue to meditate upon grows and so you find out that the mountain continues to grow turn your back from away from the mountain and focus on Jehoshua the God who is able to save I will rejoice in the God of my salvation he is able to save to the uttermost it was a principle in scripture that the nation of Israel were given as a secret that every time they went to battle and their enemies compassed them and it was clear that defeat was imminent every time they noticed that they were the enemies were greater than them God taught them to drop their swords notice the nation of Israel never fought if it was clear that the enemies were greater than them they used another strategy they would stop and say worshipers come to the front this battle now if we dare use knives they will kill us like chickens we need to engage another mystery you are good and your mercy is forever hallelujah it was a chant it was a formula given to them that when all things fail invoke the mercy of god and his goodness and the battle will turn around completely god is speaking to someone this morning people have already prophesied your life and they are right except for this morning everything they said is supposed to happen without any effort you are already in all kinds of traps but watch the power of joy joy is a magnet it puts pressure on the power of God it puts pressure on the integrity of God son you have a reason to cry and yet you refuse to cry even if you cry you turn your cry into a song and you sing and dance and rejoice listen to me it was the dance of a small girl that removed the head of a prophet now that's very dangerous a prophet an army came to attack Elijah he called fire on them yet John the Baptist the greatest prophet when a lady rejoiced before a king his head went for it joy 